It's Wednesday. And unfortunately, you know what that means. Weird news. Our first story this Wednesday takes us back to the terrifying world of robots. This time in Seoul, South Korea. That's right. In South Korea, robots have now taken over the restaurant industry. Well, maybe taken over is a bit extreme, but they are now waiting tables in Seoul, South Korea. What the government says is an attempt to reduce human contact during the coronavirus pandemic. That Robots using artificial intelligence are waiting on tables. These trolley-like robots can carry up to 30 kilograms of food and they can serve up to four different uh, people at a time as they carry their food around. Their artificial intelligence technology allows them to avoid obstacles and people. And um, the manager of the Mad for Garlic restaurant in downtown Seoul says that uh, the customers like it. It makes them feel safe from the coronavirus. Yeah, sure, safe from the coronavirus. That's how it starts. And then pretty soon, you got machine parts in the salad. And when you tell the waiter, hey, I didn't order the WD-40 flavored Jello, he can't even deal with you. And then you ask to see the manager, and then this guy shows up. That's right, you remember him from a couple of Wednesdays ago. I guess it makes sense now to take a computer class and to learn coding. Not just because that's where all the good jobs are gonna be currently, but because you're gonna need to know their language in order to placate our new robot overlords. I'm calmer now. Our next story is from the world of space. Wait, world of space? Never mind. Our next story takes us to planet Venus. Astronomers are now saying that there is possibly, some even say probably, life on Venus. That's right, alien life on Venus. That's the planet right next door. Now, it isn't life like this. It is more life like this, single-celled organisms. And the way that they can tell is that they have detected the gas phosphine in the atmosphere. And phosphine is a very smelly and toxic gas. And it is, um, well, it is emitted, shall we say, by uh, some single-celled organisms. And they are saying, hey, these organisms probably don't live on the surface of Venus because the surface of Venus is like 800 degrees. Like a cold day on Venus is when lead isn't melting. No, they say these single-celled organisms probably live in the clouds on Venus. And that's pretty weird. Hey, that's it for Weird News. Coming up next is some messages and advisory stuff from the office. Also, we have got to get on this 5K business. I have put the survey in this pair deck again. People, let me know who's in on our Doubt Advisory 5K team. Come on, guys, we can do this. <laughs>